Outlaw Square Deadwood, Site Concrete, Gazebo, Stage Canopy Timber, and Super Tress, Skull Construction Service. Outlaw Square, Masonry Construction, WD Masonry and Concrete. Outlaw Square, Stage Canopy Timber and Super Tress, All Metal Manufacturing. Outlaw Square, Stage Canopy Timber and Super Tress Painting, Western Hills Painting. The Outlaw Square in Deadwood, South Dakota was a very challenging project due to its central location in Deadwood, tight access, limited parking, and heavy snowfall. Material was staged over a half mile away off-site, and the site was always heavily congested with equipment, manpower, and daily material. Excavation yielded surprise foundations that had to be chipped away and some old mechanical equipment. Cold winter months led into wet springs, and snow had to be trucked off-site to make room for work. The highway was shut down to accommodate masonry scaffolding, and every delivery and task was meticulously scheduled to keep the trades from working on top of each other. The less than half an acre site is now complete with a building, stage, ice arena or turf covered entertainment area, gazebo, water feature, and a newly paved road. This CMAR project was designed to meet the owner's budget and space and was very successful in engaging the community of Deadwood. We started this project in September and finished in January. The weather was definitely a challenge dealing with rain, snow, and melting snow. We had to scaffold one side of the job in the roadway, and as always, on Main Street, Deadwood, material is stored three blocks away, adding to the degree of difficulty maneuvering around. The square consisted of a brick building for events, restrooms, and a stage. The building consists of brick, corbelled brick, brick jetting out of the walls, stone accents, and arches. Another portion of the job consisted of brick pavers in the road between Outlaw Square and Hickox. Before laying down the pavers, it had to be asphalted underneath. Pavers were then placed in emulsion on the asphalt. Since it was winter, the building of an enclosure from gutter to gutter and seven foot tall was necessary to cover the road and allow us to continue working underneath. Sidewalks in Outlaw Square consisted of bricks from numerous jobs that were reused per historical request. WD's crew of Stan, Colby, Mike, Bernard, and Jason showed patience and tolerance and beautiful workmanship in spite of all the obstacles last winter's weather presented. Thank you for a job well done. Master Craftsman, Site Concrete Superintendent Wade Wilston, Craftsman, John Giles, Joe Joyce, Austin Barcher, Jeremy Seifert, and Dylan Jusso. Gazebo Superintendent, Stephen Utek. Craftsman, Bruce Nichols, John Olson, Mike Oberly, and Roland LeBlanc. Help us congratulate the Craftsman from Skull Construction. Master Craftsman Superintendent Colby Davis. Craftsman. Stan Kozak, Jason Walter, Cal Combs, Mike Artlip, and Bernard Atkins. Help us congratulate the craftsmen from WD Masonry. Master Craftsman Superintendent Keith Mackey. Craftsman Zach Simple, Lori Hilpert, Cameron Cranig, James Starts. Pat Sieberding, Mike Leach, John Kernow, Tim Larson, Ryan Seneskal, Eric Hybear, and Tim Burke. Help us congratulate the craftsmen from All Metal Manufacturing. Master Craftsman Superintendent Ryan Gruba. Craftsman Jay Gruba, Mark Outka, Brent Berry, Dyla Gehring, Randy Gehring, Jerry Malasek, and Jeff Combs. Help us congratulate the craftsmen from Western Hills Painting. 